My company is Home Shopper, and we're developing the concept of a digital grocery list. In short, it's a mobile app that uh, reminds consumers of the things they need to buy when they need to buy it. One of the things I like about Axe is your commercials. Um, you do a really good job of getting people's attention and uh, generating interest for the brand. So after viewing your ad um, you know, for the body spray, I went online to check out your website. One of the features that caught my attention was the buy it button, so I clicked it. Again, you're, um, you've got really good commercials and your site is really well laid out, but when it came to buying the product, things seemed to fall apart. When I got to the uh, online retailer, I started to get annoyed. Uh, first, having to wait five to seven days for the item to ship. The thing that really got me miffed was when I couldn't uh, place an order because I was $19.61 away from a minimum purchase. You know, so I'm looking for instant gratification in my shopping experience, and I couldn't get that the way um, from the current experience that I was having. I think that uh, young consumers, the ones who thrive on instant gratification, the 18 to 22 market, which is your uh, target customer, they're more likely to leave the site and never come back. And this is what I think is happening on your site. If I had to put money on it, I would guess that less than 1.5% of the people who visit your site um, actually succeed in putting an item in their basket, much less make a purchase. So there's this huge gap between purchase intent and purchase behavior. And if 1.5% is making it on the other side, that means 98% or 98.5% are actually falling into the abyss. They say that 50% uh, of your ad dollars are wasted. We just don't know which 50%. Well, John Wanamaker said that, and he died in 1922. Um, looks like things haven't changed all that much. So surely there's got to be a better way. You don't need to be a genius to know that, which is a good thing, because I'm not a genius. <laughs> what I am, though, is an idea generator. When I first conceived of the idea for Home Shopper, uh, one of our goals was to improve the shopping experience by making it easier for website visitors to become consumers of your product. We wanted a shopping experience that felt complete, that was immediate, and that was gratifying. So instead of tailoring it, uh, our solution to just one drugstore, uh, or, or just to one store, online store, which is what you have on yours, we thought that our solution should work with every online grocer or online store that wants to participate. Well, since most people do their shopping at a health and beauty shop, um, we think that CVS and, and Eckerd's and, uh, and Dwayne Reed should also be able to participate in the service. And if you're going to bring in pharmacies, you may as well throw in the grocery stores. What we came up with is a digital grocery list that captures information about the items people want to buy and connects them to any retailer that they want to shop at. In essence, um, what we're creating is a, uh, a system where nobody falls into the abyss, nobody swims with the fishes. This is what a digital grocery list looks like. So what you'll see is it's a mobile app that aggregates all the less than $10 items that people want to buy and puts that information in the palm of your hand. When you launch the app, you'll see a um, well-organized list of products complete with brand information. So we're actually advertising your brand on the list. We'll also show packaging information, and we'll even tell you where the entry came from. When you click the arrow to the right, you can get more detailed information about the products on your list. When you click on the Find Retailer, we'll show you a list of stores nearby that carry your product. Uh, we'll also tell you how far away it is and even how much longer the store will be open. And if you absolutely want to shop from drugstore.com or any one of the online retailers, we'll actually be the order entry system. We'll facilitate that transaction. So by now you must be wondering, like, how do items get onto that list? And I want to go back to that buy it button that was on your site. What we're asking is that for our advertising partners to publish a save it button on the same page. Using Facebook and Twitter, we'll make it easy for users to log into their account and create an entry on a grocery list without interrupting their branding session. Our Save It buttons don't just work on advertiser microsites. You can publish them anywhere. So here's an example. We put it uh, in a banner ad on the um, menshealth.com website or any website in which you publish your, your banner ads. So an entry on a digital grocery list is the last thing that a consumer looks at before they, make, before they select an item off the shelf. Um, and we think that that's a powerful tool for influencing purchase decision at the point of selection. What makes us unique 
is that we're constantly in possession of household-specific data um, on a pre- and post-purchase basis. So if you're a brand manager, there's a lot of interesting things that you can do with us that you can't do with FSI coupons or in-store messaging. So I think I'm over my time, um, so I'll forget the rest of the slides, but we're grateful for the opportunity, and uh, we'd love to talk to you more. <laughs>